Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today, we are starting the vlog off at the tax store. This is not just a regular tax store, this is another bigger tax store, one that has amazing stuff. We left Gabby at home, she's still doing school work. If you have a cold, runny nose, or flu-like symptoms, do not enter. Oh, look, dogs. dogs must be on a leash. Dogs are like So the thing about this store is that they have all the cool stuff. Boots. I want to try like, I, need your boots. I want to try these. These, uh, these are cute, but they're just rubber. Yeah, those are like, I could buy men's. Men's would probably fit me. And Sylvie, they have these. Do you like these? The problem is, is they're so narrow at the, at right here. I like these. But they're just rubber. These are they're, like we need these winter ones. ones. These are winter ones. Yeah, those are better. Do they have women's in those? Okay, so these are men's. And they're size nine. They're way too big for me. And the other thing is, is that they're really heavy. Like, just to what? And they don't feel warm at all. They feel super cushy though. Like, nice and cushiony. I kind of like them. So, technically, oh, look at these. These look warm. Oh, they don't look that warm. I have like a special kind of boot that I really want for winter this year. I have to find it. This year, I plan to go for warmth over beauty. <laughs> Warmth over beauty. I'm finally at that age. Oh my gosh. It's gorgeous. Isn't that the most gorgeous? What brand is this? Sam Shield. Is that Sam Shield? Yeah, the girls really want it. Sophie wants a 1K. Um, yeah. Yeah, Gabby wants a Sam Shield. That's an adorable sweater. Isn't it nice? I need a sweater to match this. How much is that? Um, mm -hmm. $55. These hoof boots just pull on. Yeah, they're really harder to put on. They're, yeah, definitely harder to put on. Mm -hmm. But I wonder if they work better. Extra nope. large. Though. I can't. Yeah, they have extra large. Alright, let's go. Um, oh, that's neat. That'd be great. It's a grooming glove, but it's not very... It's, it'd be good for their face. It's the smallest saddle of life. It's cool. It's and so it's cute. not comfy. All the halters, lead ropes. Look at... If I ever get a horse, I'll get that pink one. Oh, look at that pink one. That was the supplement. Oh my gosh. Hopefully they have the big, huge one. What do you guys think of these? I don't know what they're for, but... Imagine... Oh, socks. It held on your horseshoe. Like it's kind of neat. Okay, it's so. a sock. It goes all the way up. And look at these. They have medical hoof boots. We used to use duct tape boots. But you could just buy one of these and it keeps all your dressing and everything in place. Sophie loves these reins. They're so pretty. Nice, light and, and you blue. can attach them to your halter and stuff. Yeah, I love them. Usually the store has like the big huge bucket of quiescence. It's the supplement that we give to store and they don't have it here today. So we drove an hour, two hours, and they don't have it. But we're going to look at their sick. blankets. So we got car sick. So this year we need medium weight blankets. These are medium? Oh, mom, this is what, that's the bridle and I think that's what Fiona wants for, to try on with Tino, oh, just yeah. the nose part. Yeah. It's true. So, medium blankets, but you can't see what the, any of them look like. Yeah, okay. Purple. Don't like that. Okay, so that used to be one of our favorite tax stores ever, but the prices have skyrocketed in there, and it's really hard. Like with the blankets, we couldn't see any blanket. None of them were hanging up. We couldn't. Yeah, they had like a lot of stock. Maybe it's turning into more of like a online company. I don't know. Anyway, we did get the quiescence. This is the stuff that Storm gets. He ran out and we weren't, and we didn't, like I don't like him to run out of a supplement and then have to like deal with putting it in his body and then get we weaning off of it kind of thing. It costs $53 for this little bucket, for this little bag. We went there because usually they have a big, huge bucket that lasts us for two months. This one only lasts us for two weeks. So, um, so I should have called ahead, but we also bought a couple of masks. Show them your mask. It is way too big. Is it way too big? 
Oh no. You can uh, do the, you can make knots where the ears are. And yeah, and adjust it. So, so we got that pretty pink one. And then I got like a bandana one. It's got horseshoes on it. I don't know if Gabby will want that one. And I got this one. It's like a Western one. I can't imagine me wearing a Western mask walking around town, but you know, I'm a changed yeah. woman. So uh, we were driving by and our horses, we know exactly where our horses are. Oh. Why did you just wink? <sighs> Doors high. It's cold. It's so cool. Anyways, I don't even have like I, I have leather boots on. Having horses keeps you young, keeps your body limber and moving. From the basin, these are last year's boots. I'm sore, and girls are sore from riding yesterday. If you saw Gabby's Just riding Brandon lesson, Brandon kills them. <laughs> Wait do you see, Sophie's riding lesson, you'll already, it'll already be up by the time this vlog goes up. Literally nailing it. She's keeping up with the big girls. Finish. Finish. So little, to jump everything. Sophie put a lot of uh, gravel and stuff in here, which is nice. He did it mostly where it's muddy. Yeah, it was it used to be really muddy here. Oh my so this is a whole different way. Before we used to go through the woods that way. This is behind the shed. Oh. And then there's that big shelter. Oh man, there's so much here. It's way better though. Yeah, pretty soon, all this area will be frozen. I suspect that the horses are going to make a run for it because they worked so hard yesterday. Oh gosh. The herd is on the move, you guys. This could get ugly, but wait, that's not the horse that I love. That one's got like white in the front and brown in the back. Colored the one. faster we move, the faster they go. What? They're coming. Uh oh. Thank hide your, hide your halters. I realize this is not very good videoing while I'm moving. Uh oh. Her name is Rain, Raven. Is that her? Yeah, she's asleep. She's that one. Oh gosh. Don't come to me. Uh oh. Watch out! <laughs> oh, she loves Storm. Chino ran for it. Chino saw her coming and ran. He's a little bit of a coward, but that's okay. Aww. He's like, save me, Gabby. Oh my God. What the? God. Listen, I am big and tall and strong. Back it up. <laughs> Don't come to me. I do not love this. Stop. Right now. Stop it. Oh my god. I'm standing on this. This is rocks. Not nice for horses. This is my, uh... Oh good lord. I... Why? Oh my god. This is turning... Turning... This is turning... <laughs> this took a turn for the worse pretty fast. I need a lead rope of my own. Oh, she's pushing them all towards me. I'm standing on the rock. So far, none of them have come to my on my rock. Listen, do not get into a fight around me. Oh my God, this is worse. Hey, go, Shh. go. I'm afraid to step off my rock. Literally surrounded. <gasps> oh. I am nervous. Look, I'm standing on a rock and they... Sophie, be careful, hon. Okay, swing your lead rope. You, I know you're pretty, but don't you be chasing me. Oh, God. 
Oh my God, we're in the middle of a... <sighs> it's her fault. Okay, they're, they're going. We <laughs> were in the middle of a stampede. That's I don't like this. <laughs> I like it either. All right, let's hurry up. It's that Raven. Her name is Raven. I call her Beauty. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, okay. You can come. Like what barrier? <laughs> Mom. Barrier's coming today. Tomorrow. Today. Today's Friday. Saturday. Don't even come at us, you guys. Oh no, we like that brown. <laughs> that brown storms spread. Is it? Yeah, we like, like the Such a weird feeling though, when all of a sudden you're standing in the middle of an open field and horses all start galloping towards you. You know, like karate, like mom. But, then all of a sudden we hear one cantering to us and it was Chino. <laughs> I love them. Like, imagine how much work you have to put into your horse for them to know that you're there. No. Like, all right, we got our family. Got our little family. We still? Is it Raven? Yeah. Raven, go away. I'm telling you now. Mom, can you leave Finn? Can I <laughs> cannot leave Finn. Okay, we're walking. Get. Go. Go. I mean it. Oh, God. I should never stay behind. Oh, God. Laura, don't be nervous. Chino, you're good. Stop. I'm getting over here close to this fence because if I gotta climb a fence, I can, you guys. I just told you having horses keeps you limber. <sighs> Chino, Chino's in front of all of them. He's just booking it. Chino, oh, I feel bad. You gotta stay, dude. You go ahead, because I can climb under. I'm sorry. Didn't even touch it. I'm sorry, handsome. I feel bad to leave him. But don't worry, we're going to a show on Saturday and you're coming and we're getting you all fixed up. And we'll bring you treats, okay? I know. One day of bringing the other horses and not him and he already knows that he's not going. There's all the herd. I know. Go eat your hay and we'll be back. He's got bites on his neck. There's the leader of the, of the boys. <laughs> Oh man, so it's not, whoa, that's what I'm scared of. Oh my gosh, that was horrifying. <laughs> we were standing in the middle of a field and they all were galloping around us. So <laughs> Pila was so scared. And my little Raven over there, her name is Raven and she's a baby. She's only four, so she's not fully grown. They, look at her, she's right up there on the top of the herd. Oh, I feel Poor so Chino, sad for Chino. I know, I feel like we should bring him in. Well, this is the guy that tried to, tried to follow me the last time. That one's cute. And then little Raven over there, the one that I love, she's the boss of the whole thing. Yeah, she's got blue eyes. I know, she's got two blue eyes, she's gorgeous. They all were like, oh, if you guys are going home, we'll go for a drink. Look at the dapples on that guy. I feel so bad for him now. All right, we are back together again, stormy night. He's like, wait, I just said goodnight to you last night. They had all day to be out playing though. It's almost two o'clock. When we come, the whole herd starts to come. <laughs> and insane. then Raven tries to get them to run away from us. No, Raven, oh, to get our horses to run away from us? Yeah. Yeah. Like, run! Yeah. So the horse that I love, her name is Raven. Her name is actually Raven. And it, she's gorgeous, she's four, and he, uh, and somebody here told me that she's probably gonna be for sale. Not e getting her. Eventually, Gabby's like, you're not getting her. Yeah, I'm not getting her now, now that she just chased me through the field. I want just joking. I do love her, she's stunning. But you can never buy a horse because it's stunning. And he did say that she has a really beautiful personality, and I think so too. Like, there have been times when our horses have been out there calling for our us and our other horses, and she's come from far away and like stayed with them. Tino's got a cut too. That. Oh, that's not bad. I haven't touched it yet because. Oh! He doesn't like it. 
smack me in the face. All right, get ready. Look at those dapples coming. Pretty soon he's going to be beautiful. This boy gets a lot of dapples. This boy gets dapples too. Hurry up, Gabby. We're almost late. This boy, even though he's all scarred up right now, he gets dapples. Let's see if you can see them. See? <laughs> he gets butt dapples. I have butt dimples. <laughs> Those are not dapples. Down there he's got a bit of dapples. That is his summer coat. Yeah, but he also has- Look at he up has, here. His summer coat's leaving. Yeah, they're growing their winter coat. In his summer coat, he has brown here. Our ponies have so much here. thicker of a coat already. It looks like Chino left with the herd, you guys. He's not here. That's weird. Chino left. No. It is 13 degrees out, you guys. 13. So it's so cold now that uh, when I'm videoing, my hands are freezing. So I have to stop at the store and get myself some gloves, get all of us some mitts. We have these little teeny tiny like felt, not felt. I don't even know what kind of material they are, but we have these little tiny gloves. I like, I buy like a massive pile of them every year. And then I buy another massive pile in the middle of the winter because we go through them so fast. They're just little tiny mitts. They stretch to fit your hand. And I wear them the whole winter underneath gloves. And then in this kind of weather, I wear them. Can you fix that? Sure. Hold the end. Little Miss Perfection. The end. Oh. There you go. There you go, Stormy Boy. They were, they're tired. Because It'll be an easy you lesson. You know when Finn's tired, I, I don't know. The girls are like, don't worry, horses. It'll be a, it'll be a calm the lesson. It's with, like, yeah. We have a show in two days. Yeah, that's not good. Um, but you know when Finn's tired, when he doesn't like prance around the arena when you're trying to walk. Yeah. It's so funny to me. Yesterday, when some other older women were watching their the girls' lessons, and this one lady was saying like, wow, Finn is such a nice pony. Like he's taking care of her. He. And she was saying like she could see how much he loved her and I was like, yeah It's so so crazy because not that long ago. I was fighting people off with a stick that were saying sell him They're not a good match. They're terrible So it just seems so crazy that things could change that fast that the, that People will be like thinking how awful of a pony he is for her and then just such a short time later a couple months later people are like so shook by how much he loves her and by what a great match they make like whatever you're going through in life right now you guys just take a deep breath because everything passes sometimes I just say to myself this too shall pass and usually you don't even notice when it's gone all of a sudden you wake up one day and you're like wait Finn used to be bad now he's great like patience guys that's all you gotta have all you need in life is patience on love money friends a family all that stuff but patience is good he came back he was hiding in the woods and then when he heard us he came running back because he's by himself again so so he had a bad fall it wasn't like bad in terms of she wasn't like super injured or anything but she had like a a scary fall i guess i was just saying goodbye to fiona and i just want to go see how she is so how are you? Okay. Okay. Let's go see the horses for a sec. Chino. Chino was a serious. Yeah. Chino tried to stay. Did you bring trees for Chino? Yeah, I gotta do some trees. Oh, good. Even girls. Like. The horses were fighting over there. Where? In the field. In that field? Yeah. Oh, okay. And Furio was with Chino. So we gotta be back here. What time is it? We gotta be back here like in an hour and a half for the farrier. So Sophie let her fear get the better of her. She was convinced she couldn't jump the jump because it had a rainbow in front of it. And you guys have seen all the things that Sophie's been capable of recently. Oh my God, she would have thrown a bigger fit. Finn's jumped over a tarp. Yeah, like we knew, we all knew she could do it. We knew Finn would be fine, but then. So yeah, it just turned out badly. And so she got on and she did it again, but I'm worried that it's gonna knock her down a little. Gabby got on and jumped it on Finn. Yeah, and Sophia stirrups, and I was a jockey, and I could not stand up, so I was like, <laughs> like this. Trouble has happened to us. Our winning streak has died today. So basically, we uh, had lessons, and then we left, and we went into town to get we went into town to get a couple of things. And when we were in town, something broke on my van, and it has like all this fluid leaking from it. So then we had to dry and get 
back to the barn, which is where we were closer to because the farrier is coming. So we Sam rushed to get us back to the barn and the engine was just heating up like crazy. Sam can fix it, but he doesn't have the thing, the parts. We're at the barn, so I'm gonna be here and deal with the farrier. And now we have a broken van. Like, my van has been so good to us. You guys remember when we bought that van and how excited we were? And it's been so good to us. This is the only second time we've ever had a single problem with it. So Kaylee's dad is coming to pick up Sam, hopefully, and drive him to the shop so that he can pick up his truck, because his truck was in the shop today. And Gabby's gonna go to Kaylee's house, and Sophie and I are gonna hang out here and take care of Chino getting on his shoe. Are you a big handsome man? I guess you're not riding tonight then, eh, Gabby? So the purple and then the orange goes on him? Yeah, purple small. I'll ask him to check both feet. It is hours later. Hours and it's freezing. It's supposed to have frost tonight. Like I'm pretty warm. So cold there's gonna be ice on the ground. Anyways, we are done with Chino's feet. He was an idiot. Sometimes it, Gabby should have stayed with him because he listens to her better than us, but it was feeding time and everybody else was eating and he was like ready to lose his mind and big horse like that it was scary i'm gonna have to wear this mask to find masks in the van so anyway chino's got his shoes on the farrier took both off our farrier tried something new with him to try and see if we can keep his shoes on so hopefully knock oh, on wood i don't know he just took them off both off filed them down a little and oh it's a thing that has sparks coming out of it mm -hmm. so all that's done gabby's done to kaylee sam got our car towed to the shop picking up his truck and bringing it back and then he's going to pick us up and it's going to be like another half an hour yeah probably another half an hour he also has to go pick up gabby's clothes so that gabby can have clothes at kaylee's we were so unprepared today today was a crazy day don't you know that